In this video, you will learn how to navigate the Return Workspace. Click on the top menu bars to close or open the left and right panes. The Training section displays training articles based on the form, field, or area of the program you're in. To add any desired form, click on the Add Form button. You can search for the form you need to prepare. You can also search by form name, number, or keywords, for example, credit. Use the Quick Forms menu to add the most common forms used in a tax return. The Form tree displays the forms in your client's federal tax return. The Form Context menu allows you to delete a form. If you want to find a form in your client's tax return, use the search box. You can type the form name and press Enter. To add a state, click on the Add State button. Select the state and then click on the Appropriate Residency option. The Save button is multi-purpose. When you are preparing returns, it saves your data. When a return is transmitted to the IRS and or states, it is automatically locked. Use this button to unlock the return for editing. Use the Tools menu to access the Asset and Vehicle Depreciation Input Grids or to manually recalculate the return. Use the eFile menu to transmit the return. To review the return for accuracy, click on the Perform Review option. When you review a return, the validation messages are displayed here. Each message has a button you can press that will take you to the form and or field where you can correct the error. To refresh the Perform Review panel, click on the Refresh icon. To close the Perform Review panel, click on the X. The validation messages can be arranged by type, severity, form name, or error message by clicking on any of the headers. This concludes the video on how to navigate the return workspace. Thank you for listening.